getting into medical college and starting your journey as a medical student was your dream and now it has come true. So now it's time to enjoy each and every moment. Hello, it's me Talha Bawar, second year MBBS student at AMC Aptabad. In today's video, I will be sharing my first year MBBS journey and the mistakes that I made so that you can learn from them and survive your first year MBBS smoothly. Let me tell you that MBBS isn't that much hard that your senior will tell you. But it's hard if you didn't study from the start and leave everything to the end. And it's easy if you study from the very first day of your MBBS. So let's start from academics. Academics are very, very important. And after clearing your entry tests, you think that you have got the fruit of your hard work and after working day and night, you have become successful. But it's your thoughts. Now the real struggle has started yet. That entry test was just a key to open the success story of yours. The real struggle is now and you have to manage everything with your study as you have to balance everything in your room. Study has become your first priority now. Now it has become the part of your life and you can avoid anything but you cannot avoid study. So why not you should study from your first day or if you haven't started your study from your first day so study from now if one month or two months spend it. If you cannot study or you cannot understand anything, so try to start reading and you will study everything with time. Most of your seniors will tell you that I have covered the whole course in one night and I have covered the whole course in 10 days. But after reading, ask them genuinely that how have you covered your course? They would tell you the truth and tell me in the comment section what they told you. So let's move toward books. As there are not any specific book in MBBS, but you have to choose that which you can devise easily at the end. For physiology, I use Guyton and Hall and Firdos and the YouTube lectures that I took was from Medical Gateway and some lectures I took from Dr. Najib like ECG. Anatomy, which is just like your organic chemistry. You can learn it easily, you can understand it easily, but you forget it easily. So one thing that you have to do is to study it from that book from which you can devise it easily. I use the book Snell and you can use BD or anyone but Choose that one from which you can revise easily. I think Snell would be best. And the YouTube lecture that I watched was Adil Banuk. Along with it, I watched some animation videos. And also, I watched Dr. J. Banu Prakash with it. Biochemistry, which is a very, 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 very forgetting subject. Mostly not, but maximum students had biochemistry because you could learn it many times, but you could forget it very, very easily. So I would tell you that instead of watching lectures, if you want to watch lectures, so you could get a lot of lectures on YouTube, but I didn't, I haven't watched lectures for it. I have made my short notes and I would prefer you to make your notes or paste it on your wall and revise it just like you did in MDK with your organic chemistry. So it would be the best solution to learn biochemistry. For histology, which is easy, I use lycosine histology. For embryo, I watched Dr. Najib lectures. I made my own notes. And along with it, I use Langman's Embryology. So that are the total lists of the books. For general anatomy, I use BT Churasia, which I didn't study, but I took it from the bookshop. And you should take it and also study it. It's very, very important book. But because it's my mistake that first one or two months, I didn't study it and then I didn't get time to study it. And during my preps, I thought that I would study at last, but I couldn't study it and it's a very important book. So I would prefer you to study it from the start. Now moving toward practicals, which mostly students avoid. And I also avoided it to some extent, but I would tell you that not to avoid it because questions are asked in the auspices from it. If you didn't want to learn it from the start, but try to perform it in lab. If you couldn't understand from your teacher, so YouTube is the best solution for you people. Search it on YouTube and watch lectures from YouTube and then perform it in the lab. And one thing that you should always remember that in histology practical, you are given slides that you have to observe with microscope. So the first thing that you have to do is to take picture from it. The second thing that you have to do is to write identification points of it. And the third thing that you have to do is to save it with yourself because at last you didn't get the correct slides from the people and didn't get the identification points and it's having marks in your auspices. Sports, I think it's very, very important to play sports. I avoid sports during my first days and I think it is my biggest mistake. You should, you should even play only one game. If you cannot play a game, 
So please get out of your rooms at evening time. This time is not for study. I used to study, then I realized that this time isn't meant for study. Then I started playing cricket with my friends, and it's very best to play even one game. College events. Mostly students didn't take part in college events, and they understand that it's a waste of time. And after clearing their MDK, they think that I have to study every time. But it's incorrect. You have to take part in every event. You have to enjoy everything. You have to study, but study along with study. You have to study, but along with study, you have to do extracurricular activities. You have to take part in sports. You have to manage everything with your study. As I said, study is your first priority. In every event, is your second most important thing to engage with others. At last, the very main important thing is ragging. It's called personality development. Our seniors did our personality develop and now it's time for you people. And no need to be scared of it. I'm telling you it's really interesting and you people will enjoy it. Hope this video would be helpful for you people and you people who may have learned a lot from it. If this video helped you, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want more videos like this, then in the comment section. And if you have any question, you can DM me on Instagram, DrDemon42.